The focus of today's meeting is the staff's activities in the area of construction oversight. With over a year of activity on the construction of the new AP-1000 reactors at both the Vogel site in Georgia and the summer site in South Carolina, the staff has re-entered an area of activity that has been relatively dormant in the U.S., the oversight of new construction. I recently had the opportunity to visit the Vogel construction site. I was impressed by the process, uh, progress to date. I was also able to observe firsthand the efforts of our resident and regional inspectors in the oversight of the activity at that site. In addition to the work at Vogel and Summer, the staff has been monitoring the completion of Watts Bar Unit 2 under the Part 50 process as opposed to the Part 52 process, which uh, Vogel and Summer are under. The construction of these plants by necessity involves the participation of a number of vendors, both domestic and international, and the staff has expanded their vendor oversight activities to ensure that components delivered to licensees meet our standards. Reactors are not the only area of new construction that's being see overseen by our staff. On the materials side, the uh, Staff has been monitoring the activities surrounding the construction of the mixed oxide fuel facility in South Carolina and the proposed expansion of the Urenco USA, formerly the LES National Enrichment Facility in New Mexico. Earlier this year, the staff reported to the Commission on their review of the construction reactor oversight process and on lessons learned from the first year of implementation of the post-combined license aspects of Part 52. I commend the staff for their ongoing efforts to review their processes, identify areas for improvement, and update processes to improve efficiency and effectiveness. So today, the Commission is going to be briefed by two separate panels. The first panel is the external panel, and we will hear from Mr. Buzz Miller from Southern Nuclear Operating Company, Mr. Jeff Archie from South Carolina Electric and Gas Company, Mr. Jeffrey Lyash from the Chicago Bridge and Iron, Mr. Mike Skaggs from the Tennessee Valley Authority, Mr. Kelly Trice from Shaw Arriva Mock Services, and Mr. Tom Clements from Fence of the Earth. This will be followed by a staff panel discussing areas of reactor and fuel facility construction oversight and vendor inspections. There'll be a, a short break in between the two panels. Uh, just a reminder, folks, try to keep the acronyms down to zero. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, you can say mocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, and uh, I look forward to your presentations. Before I uh, turn it over to the panel, let me see if my fellow commissioners have any comments. No? Okay. Then. Now we're going to have a presentation from the staff on um, the areas of reactor and fuel facility construction oversight and vendor inspections. Uh, however, before I begin, I want to acknowledge that this is uh, the first commission meeting at which we have our new executive director of operations, Mark Satorius. So I'd like to congratulate Mr. Satorius on his selection, and I really look forward to working with him in the future. And uh, this is the first of many, many <laughs> meetings where we will be sitting across the table from So I've been other. told by Mr. Porcher. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we'll, this will be a real familiar exercise soon. Um, so congratulations, Mark. Thank you. And welcome. Um, all right. Would any of my commission colleagues like to make any comments before we begin? No? OK, good. Then. Silence means weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to make sure. It's hard, you know, when you're on either side of me. Um, OK. So I turn it over to Mark. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for uh, that introduction. And good, mo good morning, uh, Chairman and Commissioners. Staff is here today to brief the Commission on activities associated with construction oversight and the licensing program for light water reactors and fuel cycle facilities. The panel is going to be covering a number of uh, items in depth, but I thought I'd just touch on a few. One is that uh, we're currently, we have inspectors in the field conducting high, high quality and safety-based inspections of these facilities. 
These inspectors have been effectively trained and are prepared to do their jobs because of the people that are sitting at this table and others. A number of offices are involved with the uh, providing prompt and well-documented licensing and technical support, including the Office of the General Counsel, the Office of New Reactors, the Office of Nuclear Reactor Regulation, and the Office of Nuclear Materials Safety and Safeguards. <coughs> Staff is proactive in carrying out its duties, and you've heard from the earlier panel of uh, self-assessments that were done and staff has taken the results of those self-assessments and made enhancements to the program. And I'd like to point out that uh, the individual responsible for uh, conducting that self-assessment and leading it is Jim Lehman, who's in the audience. Jim will be retiring on Friday after 40 years of service to the NRC. So I think he's in the... The panel is also going to provide you with some of the challenges that they are working with as they move forward, uh, uh, some of which are changing construction schedules, supply chain quality, and both of those which impact our ability to perform our inspections in a timely manner. And then lastly, you'll, lastly, you'll hear about challenges in the area of, of what you've heard from many offices, and that is making sure we use our resources in the most efficient way that we can so that we can accomplish our safety missions.